Good morning and welcome to the Petiti Pro Garden Show. Thank you all so much for getting up early and being with us today. Um, we're going to go ahead and open with a word of prayer and uh, then we're going to get into things that are going on in your gardens and your landscapes. And we have a guest today with us. We have Kevin from Habitat for Humanity. Good morning, Kevin. Good morning. And uh, it'll be um, a lot of fun and we have a lot to talk about. So if you'll just assume an attitude of prayer. Father, we just come before you and we just thank you for your goodness and your grace, Father. We just thank you for your mercies and we just ask you to bless us and use our show to bless someone and to bring glory to your name. And we ask this in your son's mighty name. Amen. Well, um, a lot of you have had some issues um, in your gardens, and um, so we want to talk about those and uh, see if we can find you some solutions. Uh, Sarah has had some issues um, with her cucumbers, and she actually sent us a photo, and we see that the cambium layer of her a stock has been chewed through, and she thought at first it was rot, um, but no, it was an insect. And so she's got some squash borers um, into her cucumbers. So uh, we want to make sure that we get her um, the right insecticide that's not going to contaminate her her cucumbers or anything else that they might try to go to. Um, so. What you want to use in this case is diatomaceous earth or the Captain Jack's um, dust. Each one of these are OMRI certified and you can use them um, safely for the squash borer. And what you want to do is spread it around the stalk of the plant out about four inches so that the insect needs to move through the product um, before it gets to your plant and then it's going to be able to... um, die before it does any damage and so that's what we're really hoping for so um, if you have had some issues like that we do have more cucumbers in stock um, because if it ate a hole through any limb um, or branch that is being fed from that spot of the cambium that has been destroyed that limb is going to die off and eventually um, there's going to be more issues with the plant so it's going to be this early it's going to be better for you just to replace the plant um, if you can can. And um, it's a little late to start those seeds, but we do have the plants ready to go at the store, so that should be able to help you. Uh, someone else has ha- was having some issues with their uh, New Guinea impatience, and um, they brought a piece of those in to us also, and we were able um, to identify the problem there, and it was spider mite. And spider mite isn't an, a big issue in most cases um, on the things that are outside. Um, We notice them in the greenhouse, um, but outside you're going to notice them if you are hanging your hanging baskets or your plants are in a planter and they're in an area where you don't have real good airflow and inconsistent watering happens. So they get real dry and they wilt um, and then they are soaking wet and then they get really dry and they wilt. That really stresses out a plant and a spider mite will take advantage of that and latch on to that plant So the best way to prevent it is consistent watering. Remember what I tell you, um, just like you, when you wake up in the morning, you need something to drink. Your plants do not want to go all day long without a drink and then you drown them at night when you come home from work. You want to make sure that when you get up in the morning and you get ready to go to work, um, you water your plants in the morning. It's going to be so much better for them um, to water them in the morning and um, they're going to feel better and they're going to do better. And then also make sure that you're flowering plants, um, that you're fertilizing them once a week, once every 10 days. Um, Your garden plants, um, use your garden toner, your tomato tone on them about once every three weeks. And you're going to notice your plants doing much, much better. Well, we are offering some amazing sales this week. Um, They actually, we started our sale yesterday. Um, But um, it's just being uh, known to the public today because only people that walked into the store yesterday were able to to take advantage of it. Um, but we are offering all of our flats, flowers and vegetables are all buy a flat, get a flat for free. So it's a BOGO sale and we would like all of you to come and take advantage of that. All of the four inch pots are buy two, get one free. And hanging baskets are the same, buy two, get one free. 
So I want you to come in and take advantage. Um, if you haven't got your garden planted yet, this is a great time, great opportunity to get your gardens planted and save some money um, by buying a flat and getting a flat for free. Um, we also got in some great new landscape plants this week. Um, they, they came in on Thursday. So um, if you are in need of some new plants, you've pulled out some plants, you need some replacements, um, or you're re-landscaping the whole front of your home, uh, stop in. We will help you lay that out and get it all working well for you. And we also have some really great Father's Day gifts. Um, so if dad loves to grill, we have some great little, um, we call them little grilling baskets, and they have all of the herbs in them that they can have right there beside the grill ready to go. So we would like um, all of you to take advantage of that as well. And um, also, uh, so that you can be doing that grilling, uh, we have um, all of the grilling items. We have the burgers and the steaks and the pork chops and the boneless skinless chicken breast. All of those are at the store as well in the cafe area. And of course, um, all of the meat that we sell are all GMO free and raised organically right on our farm. Uh, we also sell our eggs. And so we would like you to come over and take advantage of that. So if you want to get everything that you need for the grilling out on Father's Day tomorrow, now <clears throat> we have everything that you're going to need. You can... Um, Stop by the store at 5828 Columbus Road, right there on the corner of Columbus Road and Broadway. Um, also, if you have questions and you need to have them answered, you can give me a call at 330-455-5997, or you can email me at Cindy Petiti, that's C-I-N-D-Y-P-E-T-I-T-T-I at gmail.com. So we've let all of you know about everything, and we'll remind you again of the sales at the end of the show, but we want to talk to Kevin. Good morning. Good morning. It's been a while since <laughs> it has you've been, been a here. While, yeah, yeah. And um, Habitat has all kinds of things going on. Always. And um, and, and you have a little bit to talk about about dads too. Yeah, we sure do. I mean, yeah. Father's Day is tomorrow. Uh -huh. It's a big it's a big deal for for dads everywhere. But mm -hmm. also at Habitat, um, you know, we've been focusing a lot on some of the dads that are going through the program or uh, dads who have recently built their homes. Um, and we actually sent out an email just yesterday um, to our list of people. Um, recapping some of the thoughts that these dads had about building a legacy. Um, you know, legacy is a, is a loaded word. It's a, mm -hmm. it's an exciting word to talk about when we're thinking about, um, what we're doing with our lives, how we're making investments in our children and in our futures. So, um, I wanted to read just that one of the, great. uh, one of the quotes. This is uh -huh. from a homeowner named Norman. Uh, he and his wife and family actually were our 500th house over oh, on the Northeast great. side of Canton. I remember us talking about that. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So this is one of the, the dads that we featured in our email. I want to read what he said about building a legacy. I just think it's so powerful. Norman said, um, when I think about building a legacy for my family, I think about the great things yet to come. It means sharing the values and morals that I want passed down to future generations and setting an example that hard work pays off. They, too, can become a homeowner in the future. I feel that Habitat and our home fit into building a legacy for my family because I will be able to pass down a home with value to our children. It taught me no matter what, never give up that life is about building and paving the way for future generations. It teaches my children that it's possible to buy a home. And I just love that he's so mm -hmm. focused on future generations, on right. his children, on teaching them the principles of caring for each other and right. what's possible with hard work. Um, and, you know, that's a big thing we, we talk about at Habitat all the time is, you know, homes aren't free. And so all these dads, right. all the families that have partnered with Habitat over the past 30 years in this mm -hmm. area, um, they're doing hard work. They're putting in sweat equity. Equity. And then at the end, they're buying their home with a zero interest mortgage. Right. Um, and so it's not a handout. It's a hand up is right. what we like to say. Exactly. So, you know, anybody who's listening out there, if you, if, if you feel like you want to support uh, a father that's building with Habitat now, um, it's a great way to honor your dad um, or right, a father definitely. figure in your life. Mm -hmm. So um, you can go to our website at HabitatECO.org and give a gift in honor or memory of your dad and help other dads like Norman uh, and so many others mm -hmm. build a legacy for their families right. and for future generations. Exactly. So if someone is interested in getting involved with Habitat, either at the ReStore or actually a build, how do they do that? Yeah, it couldn't be easier. So look look at our website. It's HabitatECO.org. We've got all kinds of information about volunteerism, about how to sponsor a home, about how to get your business and church uh, involved, how individuals can be a part of all these things. Swinging a hammer at Habitat is not required. Uh, it, is right. a, it is a big deal. Uh -huh. uh, 
it is a big part of what we right. do, but it's not a requirement for, for being involved. Restore, you mentioned, is a great opportunity right. for volunteerism. Donating your unwanted um, home goods and building supplies, that all helps. So HabitatECO.org, or give us a call if you just want to talk about some of the possibilities. And our number there is 330-915-5888. And where is the Restore at if someone has been living in a box and doesn't know? <laughs> That's right. Uh, so you remember, we used to have a store on Cleveland, on Cleveland Avenue. Avenue. We right. merged everything. Right. Uh, and now we have over 30,000 square feet of new and gently used home goods and building supplies. And you can find that big store um, at 1400 Raff Road Southwest here in Canton. So it's right off of 30, really easy access on mm -hmm. Raff Road. And um, you can browse everything under one roof instead of having to visit both, visit places. both places. And if you're right. thinking about Cleveland Avenue and you miss it, it's only seven miles from door to door. Right. So couldn't be simpler. Right, right. Um, I know that um, at Christmas time, I was doing some shopping at the ReStore and discovered something that I had never known and didn't realize. And so you and I had never talked about it. Um, up at the front, close to the registers, there was an uh, a shelf that had the coolest wood stuff. Yeah, I knew where you were going as soon as you started this. Oh, yeah. my gosh. The it's greatest, cool. like, toolboxes. Mm -hmm. They were all compartmentized, and there were cutting boards. I couldn't believe this. Yeah. So we have a group of volunteers called the Habitat Crew, and they're um, often they're retirees, mm -hmm. men and women, who come into Habitat on a weekly basis. Mm -hmm. And they work in our, our workshop. It's the Fred F. Silk Workshop. Um, if you've never been down to Habitat, it's 1400 Raft Road Southwest, same as Restore. Uh -huh. But come down and see us. We'll give you a tour uh, and, and show you around. It's it's amazing what we have down there. And so these men and women, they come yeah. into this big workshop and they, they use reclaimed wood uh, that we've mm -hmm. had from deconstruction projects or from other just leftover materials. Um, and they'll create, like you said, the most wonderful things, cutting boards, coat racks, lamps, um, toolboxes. Now they're making really nice um, flags, American flags out of wood uh, oh, and doing really? all this painting. They always they have this little brand as well yes. that they burn, they burn uh, in. into yeah. each product that they make. It just says the Habitat Crew yeah. and it's all handmade. And they, they sell these items in restores so that all those proceeds, it's their way of supporting exactly. Habitat. They're, the proceeds from all those things, like all, all the sales at Restore, go straight into building and renovating homes with hardworking families in this area. So um, they even make, I, I think on our Facebook page, we post posted a picture of these little wooden cars they make and and people cool. are saying hey where can i like order 10 of those yeah um and they're just a kind of a big hit so these these men and women oh, yeah. are are still just making such an incredible impact by doing what they love mm -hmm. um and and helping with environment by using these materials exactly. that otherwise would just be wasted right um and they're they're sending it all to restore mm -hmm. so that we can build more homes yeah i everyone i i bought five toolboxes mm -hmm. and everyone i gave them to because i filled them with things yeah it was like the coolest Christmas gift. <laughs> They're great. Gift. Yeah. They were wonderful. We use those in raffles a lot when we do oh, giveaways right. on our uh -huh. Facebook page. Right. We, we stuff those boxes full of restore goods. Like uh, we get a lot of gardening tools in mm -hmm. and things like that. Oh, great right. for this time exactly. of year. So we'll stuff one of these handmade toolboxes full of, you know, work gloves and mm -hmm. little shovels and books on gardening. Right. Because we get a little bit of everything. Everything, right. And uh, it makes a great giveaway gift oh, when exactly. we do things like that. Right. So. Oh, yeah. I just, I fell in love with these toolboxes. I, they I think so too. They're they are fantastic. So great. So and the handy. heart behind all of them. Yeah. is so pure and good right and um i people always stop when they walk by that section mm -hmm. they never keep walking without noticing exactly. it's just an incredible little right. thing it was it was wonderful yeah so anything else going on at restore yeah so today actually uh -huh. we're launching our customer appreciation day uh it's a big sale store-wide 30 percent off all week we've been building to this uh it, people uh -huh. who are on our facebook page which is like almost twenty thousand people now are seeing everyday deals but this week we've been building up with progressive sales so we've uh -huh. added 30 percent off this and 30 percent off that and now uh this morning from 9 a.m to 7 p.m we're doing 30 percent off everything everything uh and it's a we're doing free food and giveaways uh we also have uh, had a contest this week, and this is another good reason to get on our Facebook page, where we um, we invited people to sign up to uh, be entered to win a $30 gift card and a 30-minute shopping spree. So to, to this morning, uh, we have one shopper from Restore who won the contest who's uh -huh. going to come to Restore at 8.30, 30 minutes before we open our doors. So like as soon as the show's ending, yeah, they're they, going to be there. Yeah, and they get to get in the store 30 minutes before anyone else. So um, what that means is, you know, we've got a saying at Restore, if you miss a day, you miss a, miss deal. a deal. Stuff goes so fast uh, at Restore, she gets 30 minutes before anyone else 
to come in and find those deals. So little things like that we're uh-huh. doing all the time. But today's a big day at Restore. You're going to want to get down uh, 1400 Raft Road Southwest uh, in Canton here from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. for 30% off store wide for free food, for fun and games, uh, and typical sounds Restore like bargains. So much fun. Yeah, it is fun. Oh, big exactly. Fun. That, that sounds great. Um, so... I know that it doesn't always fit in everyone's schedule, and that's why you had some extended hours. You used to not be open on certain days, and you used to not be open until 7 o'clock. So what are the the hours the rest of the week? Good question, Mm -hmm. and you're you're absolutely right. We used to have kind of mismatched hours, and it was a bit tricky. And so Mm -hmm. we just wanted to simplify, Uh and we heard uh, from people as well that, well, I can't get off work and get down to Restore before you close, so uh, what do I do? Um, So now it's just nice and easy, Tuesday to Saturday, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m., every Every one of those days were open mm-hmm. from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Super easy. Yeah, it, it works much better with it my does. schedule, It works too. for mine, too, because right. so I'm a good. shopper as well. Uh-huh. I go through there um, you know, on a daily basis and right. get to see all these good mm-hmm. deals. And it, it's absolutely incredible what right. the public donates. It, it absolutely blows my mind. And right now, coming out of spring cleaning season, the store is just packed uh, uh-huh. with stuff. And it's really, really good, unique, one-of-a-kind finds that mm-hmm. you really can't get anywhere else. Uh, you know, and, and so I encourage everybody to just come down and browse. Right, right. Um, I'm going to jump to Facebook. Um, Let's do it. Because I know that I don't always get your feeds. Mm-hmm. And Facebook has had some changes. If you don't yes. like something an awfully lot, <laughs> that's true. Their, your post doesn't go into their feed. Yeah. So if you are hearing this this morning and you haven't been getting post from Habitat, go to their page log into it, go to that page, and then like about 15 things yeah, down that you haven't right. got to see that's and like them. Point. And then you'll get to start seeing those again. And then every time you see one, make sure you like it. That's because right. Because Facebook has, I, I've, you know, everyone's talking about it. Mm-hmm. It just doesn't, you it doesn't work like it used to. And everyone you like, you don't get to see all their, their posts. Yeah. So if you do that, then sometimes that will help. Or if you really want to make sure that you see Habitat's post, you can actually go to your page and make a note that you see those posts first. Yeah, you can. And we mm-hmm. post how to do that sometimes on our uh-huh. page, which doesn't help, right. I guess, the people who aren't already seeing our posts. Right. However, um, you know, there are there are ways that you can make sure that you start right. to see Restore and other pages more. I mean, oh, it, exactly. uh, right. business pages in general are getting pushed down a little bit. Right. They sure um, do. So don't miss the deals, you know, right. get out exactly. there. Our, uh, our page address is facebook.com slash Restore ECO. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you can uh, get there and see daily inventory posts, stuff that comes into right. the store on a daily basis. All the giveaways, like I was talking about mm-hmm. before the shopping spree, the $30 gift card, right. uh, information about sales like today's customer appreciation mm-hmm. sale. Right. Um, and, and I just want to back up on that and say, too, today is all about the customers who um, donate and shop to make Restore work. And the reason it's so important is because Restore only exists to help Habitat for Humanity build homes with local families in need. Uh, And so uh, if we don't have those donations and if we don't have people getting the deals on home goods and building supplies with their purchases, then Restore really um, starts to to hurt. And that in turn helps us, uh, keeps us from building more and more homes in this area. Because all the money that is... Yep. Or that is profit at Restore gets mm-hmm. to go into building homes. Absolutely. It's not like it's its own entity. That's correct. Exactly. It all works together. Mm-hmm. In fact, there's a little bit of Restore money in every single home that we build and renovate. Uh, and so if you lump it all together, that is just uh, dozens of homes right. of, since we opened our first Restore in 2003. Right. Um, so it's an incredibly important part of Habitat. And so, and you know, this sale is about the public. The it's public, about right. thanking everybody thanking everyone. for being a part of Restore, right. whether they donate and shop or just do one or the other. Exactly. Because yeah. there's just, there's so much there too, you it know? Is. And it's Full. just, it's, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah. I know every time I go, I'm like, oh my gosh, I should have been here before because yeah. I, you know, but I do check the Facebook page yeah. a lot. So I know when I need to really yeah. make sure I get down there. Exactly. And, and everyone that works there, are, they're so pleasant. Yeah. They're just, that's just And a lot wonderful. of them are volunteers too. And uh-huh. so it, it, there are people who uh, really catch the vision of Habitat for Humanity mm-hmm. and want to invest in that way. And right. Either have experience in retail or, or in showroom floor arrangements and mm-hmm. all kinds of, all, all kinds of stuff. There are right. a lot 
lots of people in the back too that the public doesn't never necessarily see. even right. see. And I'm see. talking about volunteers, uh-huh. people who are sorting the donations that come in, people who are separating scrap metal uh, that we can recycle or um, or sell for proceeds that help right. us build more homes. So lots of behind the scenes stuff too. It's not just the faces that you see out front, but there are just lots of people all across Habitat and Restore that are just doing the right thing, serving right. whether it's visible or behind the scenes. Exactly. It's awesome. So if someone is interested in the last few minutes that we have, Mm -hmm. um, if they've thought, you know, I'd really like to have a Habitat house, I would like to work toward that, how do they get in contact with you and how do they start that process? Great question. Uh, Yeah, if someone's listening and they have a need for decent, affordable housing, we'd love to have that conversation. Um, Our website, again, is a great resource for that. There's a whole Mm -hmm. page devoted to home ownership with Habitat. Uh, In the menu, it's called Own a Home. So just click that. It's in the top level. Um, And that's habitateco.org slash homeownership. Uh, And so you can go visit that page and get more information or call our family partnership team at 330-915-5888. But just as a quick summary, there are three areas of qualification that we look for. Mm -hmm. One, do you have a need for decent, affordable housing? Are you currently living in substandard housing? And that means, you know, is your house safe or is it unsafe? What's your rent compared to your income? Mm -hmm. Uh, You know, what's your what's your payment like? Um, Second of all, do you have an ability to pay? Uh, Remember, I said earlier, t- these houses aren't free. So right. at the you end, people who able. partner with us will purchase these homes with a zero interest mortgage. But they still have a mortgage every But they month, still but have they a still... mortgage that they'll have mm-hmm. to pay. And we use those mortgage payments then to be seed money for additional projects that we do, new homes and rehab homes as right. well, and for other projects that we do throughout the community. And then thirdly, um, each applicant who is approved needs to have a willingness to partner with us. And what that means is, are you willing to do sweat equity? Are you willing to get out on a work site build your home, build the homes of other families in the partnership? Are you willing to invest the hours, hundreds of hours, by the way? Before uh, you get into your home. Before you get to your home, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, Doing things like financial literacy courses, um, wills and estates training, classes on how to avoid predatory lending. I mean, all kinds of really good um, coursework in addition to how to be a good homeowner uh, functionally. Uh, We have a class called Homeowner Maintenance Education where families can come in and they learn how to do things like change the, the furnace filter or put a sliding door back on track or how to fix blinds that are messed up. Little things mm-hmm. that, you know, uh, right. you don't want to have to call somebody and pay somebody every time something small goes wrong. Right. So, and when you own yeah, the home, it is your, your responsibility. responsibility. You can't call right. the landlord up and say, oh, right. the guts of the toilet needs to be changed yeah, out. That's Can you your, come and do it? It's your, your baby. Restroom. That's exactly yeah. right. So all those things, those are the three areas of qualification. But again, mm-hmm. our website is habitateco.org slash homeownership if you're interested in learning about a home. Mm-hmm. Uh, or you can call our team at 330-915-5888. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for thank being you. here again. It's been a pleasure. Again, today is customer appreciation yep. sale, 30% off. Store-wide. All, I mean, and, and I think coming at right now, if you can get there and watch yeah. this person, yeah. that would be so much fun. Yeah, huh? it will be. And I think she's bringing like three friends as well. We, we uh-huh. made it so you can bring a few friends uh-huh. to shop with you. So, so it's going to be, be cool. That'll yeah. be so much fun. So nine o'clock this morning until mm-hmm. seven o'clock this evening, 30% off store wide. It's going to be a great sale and get there early yeah. because there's gonna, it's going to be really picked over. Day, by, miss a exactly deal. Exactly right. So come see us. Uh, our address is 1400 Raff Road Southwest in Canton. All right. Well, great. Thank you so much. Cindy Petiti and the Petiti Pro Garden Show will be right back after these messages.